Hi everyone, Trevor here. I'm going to go over how to create a Linux virtual machine with SQL Server. We're going to use Hyper-V for doing this. The documentation we're going to follow is available on learn.microsoft.com. It is very well written and it's an excellent tutorial. Now let's go ahead and set up our very first SQL Linux server on Hyper-V. So for this I'm going to use Ubuntu uh, Server 2204. So I want to go uh, create a new virtual machine and then we get our wizard. So we'll call it SQL Server. It's going to save it into my B drive. I want generation 2. I'm going to give it at least 8 gigs of RAM. Networking. I'm going to set it for the my default network, which I call the set network. And then I have my SQL Server hard drive, which will automatically be created and we'll give it 127 gigabytes. Just a default. I'm going to select my operating system. Ubuntu Server. All right. Now we have our virtual machine. Let's go through and fix our configuration. So firmware, uh, we're going to boot off the drive security. We want to set it to Microsoft UEFI authority. Now this is up to you. You can enable trusted platform module. And encrypt the state of the traffic for the purposes of this demonstration. We're not going to do that. Change our RAM. I'm going to go up to a maximum of 24 gigabytes of RAM. Give it four processors. And we'll enable guest services. Checkpoints, I'm going to keep it as standard and I'm going to disable automatic checkpoints. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to select English, and I'm just going to use the default version of uh, Ubuntu server. We have our IP address. Make sure that the mirror pulls all the packages properly, which it does. I'm going to use the entire disk. For this, I'm not setting up LVM. And we're done. Putting in name username I'm going to 
skip Ubuntu Pro, we want SSH server because if we have any SQL files that we need to transfer to Linux, we're going to have to do that via SCP. And I'm also going to want PowerShell and Live Patch. Okay, our install is done. So now we can reboot. Right, go ahead, log in. We're going to do an update. Get all our upgrades done. Restart the daemons. Distro upgrades. Okay, so with our SQL server, all the commands we need right here is right here on Microsoft Learn. So you have an Azure Marketplace image. And I'm going to use this install SQL server for 2204. And we're going to need to actually connect to the system via SCP to make this easier. So I'm just going to run PowerShell as administrator. I'm going to SSH. Okay, so we're SSH'd in. Copy the command. I'm going to put sudo in for most of these commands. And then if we receive a warning about the public key, which we haven't, uh, we'll just go down here to the repository. Copy that. All right, now we need to update. It looks like we're getting some GPG errors. So 
So we'll add the key. That's better. And now we'll install SQL Server. Missed an extra S. There we go. So now we're installing SQL Server. So while that downloads, we'll just grab this command, which we'll need next. Now you'll note that we have not set up or enabled any firewall yet. Uh, you will want to do that if you choose to set this up in any kind of prod environment or dev environment. Okay, so now I have the different versions that I can install for the purposes of uh, this demo. I'm going to go with the developer version. Uh, if you have the paid version, you can add in your license key. Put in the SQL password. And then finally, and that's it. That's our setup for SQL Server, and I'll just bring up the connections for Microsoft Server Management Studio, and we'll connect to our database. Now, I haven't disabled the SA user. For best security practices, you should. And I have authenticated. And I'm connected to my Linux SQL server. 
So very simple, very easy to set up. A little bit harder to harden. But from there, we can go ahead and start using SQL Server for all our development needs. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you found this video helpful, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to follow me on LinkedIn X and my blog is optionkey.blogspot.ca. Have a good day.